a Ferris wheel with diameter 110 meters rotates at a constant speed. The lowest point on the wheel is 10 meters above the ground. P is the point on the wheel. The wheel starts moving with P at the lowest point and completes one revolution in 20 minutes. The height H of P above the ground after T minutes is given by A cosine of B T plus C. Find the values of A, B and C. For uh, the periodic function sine or cosine B, it's always 2 pi or 360 divided by the period of a given function. It's because to get uh, the graph of cosine of B T from the graph of cosine T, we should apply a horizontal contraction by factor of B. It means uh, that all points become two times closer to y axis and for example if b is for example 10 and if we consider cosine 10x usual cosine looks like this and it has a period of 2 pi and it's just cosine of t but cosine of 10t it becomes uh, 10 times closer to y-axis and it has period of 2 pi over 10 and it's uh, always true for example if uh, you meet sine of uh, 5x plus 3 or cosine uh, 4x minus uh, 5 it's always true that this coefficient which is multiplied by x it doesn't matter plus minus or parentheses it means that 5 is 2 pi over period you can find period if it's needed and 4 is 2 pi over period here so b becomes 2 pi over period period it's 20 minutes here so it becomes 2 pi over 20, it's uh, pi over 10. And, and uh, we can see that we need A and C. And for any functions, if we need some parameters, uh, if we know some points, we can substitute coordinates over the points and get equations and solve them to find the required parameters. Since we need two uh, unknown values we need uh, uh, any two points and we can consider for example uh, the initial point its uh, age is uh, 10 at t is 0 because it starts uh, here and we can consider the highest point and since uh, one revolution is in 20 minutes and it will, it will be here in 10 minutes so age of 10 is uh, 120 so it becomes a cosine of pi over 10 times 0 plus c is 10 and a cosine of pi over 10 times 10 plus c is 120 and cosine of 0 it's a 1 so it's a plus c is 10 cosine of pi is negative 1 so it becomes uh, negative a plus c is 120 and we can see that we can just add uh, uh, the left hand side and the right hand side sides and get 2c is 130 and c is 65 and a is 10 minus c from here so it becomes 10 minus 65 so it's negative 55 or you can consider uh, the graph and it looks like this at t is 0 height is 10 and after t 
uh, after 10 minutes it becomes at the highest point which is 120 and one period is 20 so anyway uh, b is 2 pi over period it's pi over 10 and this c it's vertical shift and if you consider usual uh, sine or cosine principal axis it's uh, y is zero and uh, it uh, oscillates one unit to one extreme point and one unit to another extreme uh, point and one is called amplitude and you can see the distance from the lowest to the highest uh, point is two and uh, now it oscillates about this axis which is in the middle between 10 and 120 so to find uh, a point in the middle we just add 10 and 120 and divide by 2 and it's 65 so this uh, uh, principal axis is y is 65 and you can see that it oscillates 55 downwards and 55 upwards so a is amplitude is uh, uh, plus or minus 55 because in general it may be plus or minus or to find amplitude we consider distance between the lowest and the highest point and uh, consider 120 minus 10 divided by 2 and it becomes 55 its amplitude it's this distance 55 and this is also 55 but you should understand that in general it may be plus or minus 55 cosine pi uh, t over 10 plus 65 and to find out uh, whether it's plus or minus uh, you need just check any point for example if you consider h of 0 is 10 you get 65 plus or minus 55 and you can see that it must be minus to get uh, 10 or or you can notice that usual uh, usual uh, since it is not shifted horizontally because there is no plus or minus uh, within uh, argument of cosine uh, usual cosine starts at, at uh, the maximum point so when t is zero it has the maximum and here we can see that at t is zero it uh, uh, has a minimum point so it means that this uh, 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 cosine is reflected about uh, y is uh, uh, 65 so it's uh, um, negative cosine so hence it must be negative 55 and that's all for this question